presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. This is awesome. Uh, come on, Tarle Vu. We're going over to Paris. What's happening? Hey, Tom. It's Adam from Paris. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Adam. Yourself? That's good. Long time no talk. I appreciate everything you've done for me and my family over the years. So well, We appreciate uh, you growling problem with us. Yeah, 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 sir. I've done gold reports and all the softwares and all your books and read it. Generational thank you. you are, seminars, thank so you so much. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Now, Tom O'Brien. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows up. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 56, NASDAQ up 179, SP's up 31. Gold, gold contract flat, 2047 an ounce. You got silver down 11 cents, 24 dollars 11 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude flat, 69 dollars 52 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. 10 year note down one tick, 111.03. The 30 year off 12 at 120.06. Now, in the note and bond market, folks, the 10 year had a huge rejection of lower price, man. It was pretty amazing. It's, it is pretty amazing, actually. Um, bottom line is that the 10-year, you know, start pulling back, it got down to the 110.23, and guess right, 111.03. Uh, and King Dollar, so here's some divergence here, for sure. King Dollar, that's, that's why you see the market up. King Dollar's down 614 ticks, 103, 539. Euro's at 107, Yen's at 143. Uh, British pounds at uh, 125. You can see it, the yen is <laughs> giving the dollar uh, index a lot of juice. The yen is uh, down 384. You're talking about intense. Now, the thing that's kind of wild is that normally when the yen gets stronger like this, okay, that gold normally would take off like a rocket ship, but it didn't. Our phone number is 877 -927 -6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we take a look at the SPY here. And, you know, bottom line is it's going, you know, uh, it's light volume here. That's the real bottom line. Now, the high that we're suspecting we're going to get tested here, you had 462, that was the ABC structure up, right? We have 459.60, I believe that's what it is. That was the high that was generated uh, last Friday. That's a high volume high. So I suspect number one is going to get there. We'll see if it holds price, if it doesn't hold price, if it breaks out uh, up at that level. The Qs, NDX 100. That's who's leading out here today. There's no doubt about that. You get the, the Qs, they're up right now $5.50, and you get volume behind the move. You know, the Qs are going to have volume out here today. We've already done, uh, well, not. They're going to have volume. We done, we've done 38 million. Now you're a little bit further away from the top, but 38 million, 48, to do about 54 million out here today, probably. Notes and bonds. And then we take a look at this note and bond market. What you're going to see in the note and bond market. Active contract, where are you? Let's see why. There we go. We take a look at the active contract. You're going to see right now, is that it? Okay, so now we're down two ticks, but you rejected low price. That's, that's the real bottom line here. It's been a one-way move, man. We're at 4.13 right now, folks, okay? And just to give you uh, an idea, okay, put this up for a second. Watch this. This is pretty amazing, actually. Um... And then I'll do one month. 
Yeah. Let's see where this shakes out. Okay, so see this, folks? This is what's going to be wild. If I bring this back a year, the low was 3.3. Okay, now this one here has the high 4.990, but we know it went to 5.0. 5.0. Now watch this. 3.3. And then if we go if I put I'm gonna put up the the chart that has the interest rate structure on it, you're gonna see that that October high had 5.01 as the high, right? And then the bottom of the consolidation is 3.6. So what's cool here is that if that's where, my take is that's where we're going, okay? Because that, that's going to be 100% move or move. We'll see if we break down even more than that. But the bottom line right now, it looks like it wants to go there now. And I'm talking about now, too, you know, meaning next, you know, three or four or five weeks. Because that's how fast these things are moving, man. <laughs> Um, you get that, and that's going to really put some juice uh, under this marketplace. Gold, we got divergence out here on gold today because you get the, the dollar's getting hit nice, and gold isn't moving, you know. And so gold is still in the building cause phase after the wild Sunday evening to Monday ride. That definitely, the shots got taken to the cleaners. Um, I don't think I don't think bulls actually got hit that night. Um, the reason being is that uh, this was a six o'clock in the evening, and the futures, you know, open on Sunday night at six o'clock. It was six fifteen. It went up there. It took another three or four hours to start making its way back. And you know, as most market participants are really um, trading. I, I can see them trading at the six fifteen mark too, but. Hey, we'll see where it shakes up. And then good old King Dollar. If we take a look at King Dollar, looks like King Dollar once again. And the jobs numbers tomorrow, and the jobs numbers are going to move this market too. But what we have uh, in the dollar is that you got wide price spread again. This could be a large ABC structure down. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Get ready, Tigers. Thursday, December 14th, Tim Ord is back to host another stellar live webinar. From 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will delve into the secret science of market tops, helping you, the viewer, with how to effectively call market tops in order to increase your success in trading. Tim Ord has developed this understanding over decades of trading and is ready to impart this knowledge on you. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Tim Ord's secret science of market tops. TFNN, educating investors. Ho, ho, ho! Oh. It's December, Tigers. That means festivities, decorating, spending time with friends and family, and the TFNN Tiger Dollar Holiday Sale. Don't miss your chance to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Once you apply your Tiger Dollars to your account, you will be able to use them for any TFNN product purchase instead of your credit card. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to purchase your Tiger Dollars. Don't miss your chance to receive up to a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase this holiday season. Every Tiger who purchases Tiger Dollars will also receive a complimentary TFNN Tiger mug with their purchase. Act fast, this sale ends December 17th. Happy Holiday Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up uh, 66. You got the Nasdaq up at 189. Uh, uh, S&P is up uh, 34. Let's go look at this composite for a second. So we pull the composite up. This is the Nasdaq. Yep, it's going right forward. Okay, so you're over the highs of yesterday. You're going right for the highs of last Friday. I mean, that's how this is maybe set up right now. We close right here. That's what you're going for. It'd be intriguing, you know, because we get the jobs numbers tomorrow. So uh, when the ADP numbers did come in yesterday, they came in at 100, and they were looking for a buck 30, you know. And, you know, listen, uh, the, I, you know what I did here in, uh, 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 inside that ADP number yesterday? This is, this is pretty cool. That... Okay, the biggest expansion in jobs we've had is in the medical field and in leisure. Well, when those numbers came in yesterday, the biggest contraction of jobs that were uh, job postings that are out there was leisure and uh, medical field. So that's saying that uh, the bottom line is there's less jobs there that are available. Uh, it was by 17% too. Um, so it was it was a decent number, man. Uh, there's no doubt that um, you know there's that many, and it's still though. Right now, there's 1.4 jobs for every person that's looking for a job. So you're still on the other side of this thing. There's no doubt about that. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Moore, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every trading day at Ord hyphen. Oracle.com. I'm sorry, I'm trying to move. Why is it this moving on me? Okay, one second. What did I just do? I'm sorry about this. Let me see. What did I do? Oh, no, don't do this to me. One second. It'll be all right. all right. That's all right. Okay, so how do I move this whole thing? There we go. Okay, move this whole thing over. Get this thing over. So our man, Mr. Tim Wood, folks, okay? is also going to be doing a workshop. This workshop is a week from today. And, you know, the first one that Tim did, bottom line, we were talking about, you know, how do you, how do you look at bottoms? Well, this next one here is the secret science of market tops. You're going to love it. Next Thursday, the 14th, so from 4 to 5.30, folks, it's only $149. Bottom line, come over to our website at TFNN. We get the, dollar, the target dollar sale going on simultaneously. You're going to get a great workshop. You're going to really get to understand, uh, number one, uh, what to look for at bottoms and what to look for at tops. And, you know, neither Tim nor myself or anyone else, we're not saying it's a crystal ball, 
but you can see the consistency of what, what Tim does, folks, okay? It is pretty intense, okay? Because we, you know, we've been going on six or seven months right now. First he hit gold, then he bottom line hit the S&P, and now, you know, bottom line, we'll see whether we're coming into a top or not. Tim Ord, what's going on? Uh, all right, got you some charts over your way. We'll take a look at them. You um, certainly do. Let's do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah chart one. Uh, hey, just give me, just give me one be, second, uh, Tim. On, uh, that webinar uh, a week from today. So, uh, but anyhow, this is kind of a teasing, I guess. Um, yeah. Good. Uh, what to look for. But uh, the first chart, uh, you know, the bottom window is the SPY. Okay. Uh, higher window is the VIX. VIX really is a great indicator, especially when you combine it with other things. And the top window is the uh, SPX VIX ratio. Yes. And uh, I got a pink area, kind of, if you can see the July area, I kind of uh, I can. where the S&Ps are making higher highs and that ratio yep. was making higher lows. And uh, that's one of the reasons why we got out in July it was because of that. Right. And... Uh, uh, I want to point out we have something something similar on a little bit smaller time frame. If you look over to, way over to the right of uh, the right window, okay, far right window there, you can kind of see it a lot better. But you can see the S and P's in general kind of working higher, kind of making higher highs, higher lows. Well, that uh, ratio, which is the top window, is actually making lower lows. Look at and that, you, really huh? see, you okay. can see the VIX there. Uh, as the market goes up, you should have the the VIX really trades opposite. Of the S S and P and yes. S and P's, right? So, but when, when both of them are going up, that's usually uh, a negative sign for the market, and so that's what we have right now. Uh, how long can this last? You know, that last one, you know, it, it went up for almost a month uh, okay. before the market actually turned down. Yeah, and we've been going up uh, for you know, I don't know, close to two weeks now, maybe a week, week right. and a half, whatever. So what I'm saying is this this divergence uh, where both of them are going up at the same time can last a while. So, you know, what good is that, you know? Well, and, and that's, it's, it's and that's too, you know, I'm glad you're bringing this up, Tim, because that, you know, like the market tops, folks, okay, go on much longer than <laughs> than you want them to go on most times. <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah. You know. They, 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 can, they can just... You know, you're short, and they keep kind of pushing higher. Yep. And uh, it's, it's it's yeah. So you got to really watch what's, what's kind of going on. But you know, there's a divergence there. So at the moment, you're not bullish. Uh, so can it go higher? Yeah, I can squeak up higher. But as long as those two, uh, long as the um, uh, VIX or VIX keeps going up with the S and P's, that divergence persistent. And at some point, you're going to turn down. So let's look at another ratio. Okay. On page on chart two. Okay. Uh, this one actually is one of the reasons why it got me short um, back in the July top. That ratio uh, uh, was. Uh, this is kind of the same thing here. You got the SPs going up, and you got this. Uh, this the middle window is a TLT, which is a bond market. Yes. To the BBIX, which is VIX of the VIX. So when the, the VIX, VIX goes up, or the VBX, VIX of the VIX goes up before the VIX goes up. So it anticipates, when that VBIX starts going up, it anticipates at some point the the uh, VIX will start going up. Okay. So uh, that's how that works. So it's a little bit uh, quicker signal using the VBIX uh, than the uh, VIX. So anyhow, I, I did that, and uh, so normally, you know, the TLT kind of r really trades opposite of the. It's not an ideal world, but it does kind of trade opposite the S and P's when that tilt's going up. A lot of times, marks going down, and it's kind of a safe haven. So it's a good indicator um, uh, to have to try to figure out where that market's going to reverse. If you remember. Back in October 27th, we got long. Oh, yeah. Uh, on that. And that, was, that was the day of the low we went long. And the reason why we went long is because this ratio was going straight up. Nice. Um, and if you, if you and, remember, folks, October 27th, that was a bad day in the marketplace. So I can see why Tim also did it, because there was some fear there, wasn't there? That, that's yeah. yeah, pretty cool. 
Yeah. Stay right there, right. folks. Tim and I are coming right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Wood, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growl and prowl. So we have the Dow up 73, NASDAQ up 189, S&P's up 34. We're talking with our man, man Mr. Tim Wood. He's bringing us through these different things that he's looking at for market tops. Now, what's going on, folks, is uh, next Thursday, Tim's going to be doing a workshop. You can be in that workshop. It's only $149. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right into featured content. Uh, it's going to be an hour and a half. This, these, these tools, folks, no one has these tools, number one, okay? You're going to have them all. You can go over the archive as many times as you want. You can put the formulas in a spreadsheet you're, and you're off to the races and you, you just have to do a little work when you you know do these every night every night that's the bottom line but guess what you want to make money and not make money that's what it comes down to so tim we're looking at this uh, uh this chart, yeah, chart num yeah, number two chart yeah. two actually i got this is a close of yesterday okay and in the middle window is that tlt yes to uh, bbix ratio and it's making higher highs along with the s&p's making higher highs right okay that's that's bullish. Yes. Okay. Okay. So now flip to chart three. Okay. Now this is today's. So, and uh, this is updated today. As of, that was yesterday. So we didn't close at a new high. We actually right. closed a little bit lower. So this the divergence went away, or the bullish divergence went away today. So now you're pretty much, you know, you're making a little bit lesser 
highs still. So you got a divergence. You got the TLT VIX ratio making a little bit lower highs as the SP still making higher highs. So that puts back on the negative divergence, I guess you might say. Yes. So now you got the um, uh, SPX, the VIX ratio divergence, which can go on for weeks. You got this is a little bit, sh- uh, this is a little bit shorter term, but you still have a divergence. So it still suggests at some point, we're going into a high, uh, so right. Um, you're getting a little high, more. I don't know. You're getting a little I'm more thinking, information, you know, right? That you know, it's getting more dangerous up here, basically, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you look at last Friday's high, we had high volume. Yes. I don't have that volume short. We talked about it. I think last Thursday. Yeah. I thought last uh, Friday's high, or maybe it was Tuesday. Last Friday's high. I bet there's a good chance we're going to test that because we had high volume. Yeah, 89 million. Volume, right. Which we haven't touched it yet, but we may touch it tomorrow. Uh, and these versions are still present. Uh, these bearish divergence are still present. That potentially could end up with a sell signal. We'll have to wait and see. Don't know yet, but let's look. So that's the short-term trend. The short-term trend is uh, it shows bearish divergence. I'll put it that way. No okay. signal yet. but So let's look at the bigger term. Okay. So, you know, it is not like, this is going to be a great big top where we're going to go down to zero on the SPs. No, we're not. And this is the reason why. Uh, on this chart, chart number four, okay. the bottom window is the SPY, and the next window up is the SPX VIX ratio. And uh, the last time uh, we were talking back in May, I thought, that, you know, the market's going to hit higher. And the reason why I said that was because of this ratio. The ratio is making higher highs where the SPYs was basically matching its previous highs. Well, the SPY VIX ratio leads the S&Ps. So we have a kind of a similar stereo. Right now we're testing the um, July highs or early or July highs, and this ratio is making higher highs. Wow. So at some point, we could have minor pullbacks, just like we did back in April, sure. May. We see you know, those pullbacks there. Nothing real significant, but, you know, just probably we need the arms to get up there. So you get these pullbacks, the arms goes, you know, up to one and a half twos. You get enough energy to probably rally through. So I'm thinking we're going to pull back to around 440. Uh, this ratio already shows a bullish divergence. So that gives you confidence to buy on that decline. Right. Uh, because the bigger trend is still up according to this ratio. And it does a pretty good job picking out the lows, too, if you go back and Look at the uh, May June low, yes, uh, which is that red box there. That ratio is going a little bit higher highs. I see it. Market's going through the floors. Uh, so Look at that, folks. Okay, if you there. if you if you're in your car, remember this is archive too, folks, because that that is. Look at that, man. It it almost got down to the bottom, but it didn't. Interesting, man. Yeah, and that was the low. Okay, cool. yeah, that was, that was the low. So, so you you know the most. You know, and actually, let's look at the top window there too. Yeah. Normally, the the VIX will start going up before the market actually tops. Yes. And usually, it gets above seventeen when those tops come in. Okay. Uh, and so we got as I did this chart, we're at thirteen. And so even though we're kind of consolidating here, we may have a the minor pullback, just to probably scare everybody for you know a week or so. Uh, then probably you know the Christmas rally will start and we'll rally to year end. But usually the VIX will go up, and above 17, you're getting above 17, is when you have to really start watching the market. Even though the market may be going up, if that VIX is up past 17, chances are you're going to enter some pretty turbulent water. Oh, yeah. Uh, where uh, the market... Uh, you know what's pretty uh, wild, Tim, is spirit. that, you know, right, so. right now we've been the VIX is just hanging out here, and it's been hanging really in the same place uh, minus one day, for like 10 trading days so far, you know, yeah. oscillating around yeah, the 13 mark, you know, so it's pretty wild. Yeah. 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 But on the bigger time frames, it looks fine. Our short term time frames, you know, if you go back to, uh, can we go back to chart one real quick? Yep, absolutely. Um, so that, you know, that you can't really see it on the bigger time frames, but the short term time frame. Is, is the VIX too. It's been going up. It was low as, looks like in the 11s. You know, now you're around the 13th it's going up. That even though it's a minor divergence, uh, you still probably get some short, short-term reaction to it. Okay. So, so you're looking now. If we go back to chart four again. If okay. 
Okay, I got exactly. it. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, see if you see that over the last couple of weeks, how the VIX has kind of turned down. I do, I do. That, that yep. ratio. So that's what we're looking at on a real small time frame. The SPs keep making higher highs. Yep. That ratio is going down. So you're probably going to get some sort of reaction here uh, soon, you know, not months away, you know, no, I'm with days you. away. Hey, let, me, let me ask you this. I, I, I don't think I've ever asked you this. What made you, I mean, I know you do so much work in the marketplace, okay? And this goes, folks, the first time I met Tim, I think, is, well, on, you know, on the, first time I met him in person was 96, but I think I, I met him in, like, I had him on 94. What, yeah. How did you come to the conclusion that you're going to start using some of these ratios looking at the marketplace? Well, I just needed something more than what the trend was giving me. Yeah, And uh, okay. Uh, you know, trend works great, you know, but, you know, even that last low of October 27th, the 10-day trend, yeah. trend, trend never even got close to, to 1.2. Okay, cool. Um, okay. So, and and these ratios actually have helped me, to, you know, how did I come up with the ratio? I'm thinking, you know, I like the VIX. VIX has a lot of information, so I started messing with the SPX VIX ratio. Then nice. I started, you know, the bond market has a lot to do with the, oh, the stock market. Totally. So I, so I started uh, messing around with the TLT. And, cool. Okay. And, uh, and just, you know, through trial and error and, you know, and just yep. started screwing with it. And then over the years, so, of yeah. course, it gets consistent. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. Just stay right there, folks. Tim and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials up uh, 49, NASDAQ up 181, SP's up 31. Tim and I are coming right back, folks. <laughs> Ready, Tigers. Thursday, December 14th, Tim Ord is back to host another stellar live webinar. From 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will delve into the secret science of market tops, helping you, the viewer, with how to effectively call market tops in order to increase your success in trading. Tim Ord has developed this understanding over decades of trading and is ready to impart this knowledge on you. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Tim Ord's secret science of market tops. TFNN, educating investors. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Tim O'Brien, Tom O'Brien. We are talking with Tim. We are talking about uh, these different types of ratios, folks, that Tim uses that is going to be teaching uh, at TFNN next Thursday. So go to the front page of TFNN and... Uh, uh, featured content. You can uh, sign up right now, and you're going to be very happy you did. Okay, Sam. All right. So we got a chart for so you know the bigger picture uh, because of the uh, SPX VIX ratio making higher highs, where the SPs are still testing the previous uh, July highs. It says at some point we'll make a higher highs because the SPY VIX ratio leads the way. So. Let's go to chart five. Okay. And uh, this chart, you know, this is, uh, it's not really a ratio. This is a McCollin Oscar. or actually the top window is the McCollin uh, summation index. Yep. And uh, it it works pretty good. Uh, I kind of, you know, it's a, it's a you know, I, I do it with my trend. You know, it gets below minus 700. You're going into a climatic low. And a, a, uh, so that's. And that's all the blue lines across the chart there. The yes. times when the summation index hits below minus 700. And uh, October 27th, we were, uh, I think, eight, minus 813. So we hit the climatic low, um, you know, in that vicinity. So, you know, my downside was pretty minimal. I mean, can it go below, you know, down to 1,000? Yeah, but, you know, 90%, you know, rally, in my opinion, was over, you know. Uh, right. So I, I had to worry about Monday or Tuesday, probably, if, if right. it was going to go down. Actually, not the uh, rally, a uh, more downdraft, you mean, right? Yeah. Right, yeah, because yeah. you already got the downdraft already there. Right. You know, that's, I looked at the summation, you know, it was minus 800. I mean, how low can we go? Well, we can go right. lower. Hey, but Tim, general, what was the... 90% of the decline's done. Right. So. I, I know that the sun runs it now, but what was what was the father's name? Um... Oh yeah, Tom and uh, Tom, because you know he's the no, one no, that he's the no, one. Tom is the son. Oh, Tom's the son, but oh, Sherman, right? Sherman, 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 that's right, Sherman. Well, Sherman's the one that gave me your number. You know, he he didn't want to oh. come on. I I I just realized this, man. I was calling people up, folks, okay, and, and I saw this thing, this immersion and I was like, what is this thing? And he's the one that gave me your number. He says, no, I don't want to, you know, be on. I, I'm. You know, just not that type of person. He's the one that gave me a number. And then I, I had Tom on, of course, after that, because Sherman only did it a few more years, and then Tom took it over. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's crazy. Matter of fact, they uh, invited me out to uh, uh, California. They were doing um, an investment club out there, and they had that investment club. I and see. Probably, um, I don't know, the people, when I showed up, I was one of the, were actually him and uh, Sherman spoke. Then I spoke, so it was just two of us. But they paid my way out there, and, yep. and I gave my, I was doing my tick, and you remember that tick thing I was doing? Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, you know, so. I still love uh, that tick thing, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. yeah it's, it's, you know, you, you got to find things that give give you a panic. You know, right. As long as, you know, people are screaming and hollering and stuff, and that tick's going nuts, you know, you're totally. closer to a bottom than a top. So, and, but yeah, it works great. And as with Tim, so, yeah, I went presented it out there, and I met Sherman, met, nice. met Tom, and and um, so and uh, and folks, anyhow, what, what's cool? Let's get back to this. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're both nice people, and yeah. So anyhow, we get, we got minus eight hundred on October twenty seventh. That turned out to be the low, and so how the summation thing works? You want a, a selling climax, in other words, reading below minus seven hundred. Then you want a buying climax, and that's a reading above plus one thousand. You know, like to happen within two months. Yep. So October twenty seventh was the low. That's when we might hit minus eight hundred. As I did this today, we're at four hundred and sixty one approximately. So we got about you know five forty to go before we reached a thousand. And we like to have that happen around December twenty seventh or before. Yes. Which is about what another. Two weeks away, three weeks away, whatever. Right. So now, if we do get that, 
Now, that adds quite a bit of oomph to the bigger trend. Oh, yeah. You have two of them pretty much in a row. We had one uh, coming in, um, you know, first of the year. That was October. Then actually January, we had you had October. You had the selling climax blow 700. Then you had the uh, buying climax in January. So that's actually about three months. Not ideal. And now you get another one, uh, you know, sudden climax October 27th. And say, some, you know, by end of December, if we get up to less 1,000, that would bode well probably over the next six months at least. I see. Because when you get these signals, if you go back and look, this chart goes back to 2007. Right. You know, sometimes those signals last years. Right. You know, we, you got one, uh, I know, the. Uh, you know, the COVID crash, which is a uh, March of 2020. Yes. You know, the market went straight up for, what, two years? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, so you know, that would bode well. So, um, don't know if it'll happen, but if, we, if it does happen, um, you know, you can't really be bearish. So, um, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But the bigger trend at the moment is still up. Right. So, I don't, I don't see a, a big top here for me even though there's quite a bit of bearish talk out there so oh there's you know, plenty of bearish numbers. talk out here this is what's actually so cool folks okay because you know the euphoria is not out here <laughs> and so that's pretty intense yeah. man and we're right next to highs that that's what's really weird tim do you know what i mean when you think about it um and i guess it's because it's been a year and a half that, you know, we went down and, you know, unless you're doing this every day, I don't think people realize how close we are to the highs, actually. Yeah, yeah, we're awful close to the highs, you know. Uh, so, so I don't know, it's just, we'll, we'll get a scare, I think, here probably next week, you know, yeah. because of the charts I showed you. And that, you know, and ideally you want that trend to go up right through the, Ceiling, right, and, uh, and to get some panic going, and you know and that builds energy for the next rally. Yep. So uh, we can flip through the gold market real quick. We Absolutely, got could that everyone wants to hear that? That's for sure. Okay, so I get the weekly gold shot up, but the weekly XAU uh, uh, gold ratio, and then the weekly XAU. Cool. Okay. All right. Uh, this chart goes back to 2013. And what it is, just the RSI of that ratio. And every time you get it uh, below uh, 30, in other words, that's when gold stocks relation to gold is going down a lot faster than gold's going down. Yes. So when, when, when the, that ratio is getting killed, gold stocks are actually getting killed. Right. And, uh, and that's when the opportunity rises. So you're trying to pick out the worst top possibly uh, ratio to find, and when the RSI gets below 30, that's usually a good OM, which we did have two signals back in 2022, one in July and one in September, because the RSI uh, hit below 30, went up a little bit, and hit below 30 again, so it kind of gave a double signal. And it's a good signal also for at least uh, near minute term tops when this ratio gets above 70. And we had that happen back in, uh, uh, looks like about, I don't know, March of 2022. Got above 70 in July, September, got below 30. Uh, so, uh, anyhow, my point is, uh, flip the next, uh, to the next chart. Okay. And you know what I wanted to ask you, that we, when we left off on Tuesday, as soon as we come back, we'll talk about this. You know, we were looking at the GDX on the monthly, you were talking about the aspect of, uh, getting above the middle Bollinger Band, right? Yep, yep. And it looks yep. to me like the monthly actually is there right now. Stay right uh, there, folks. We're coming right back. Tigers, tis the season for leveling up your trading skills. Basil Chapman is happy to offer all opening call subscribers a free subscriber webinar Wednesday, December 20th, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Basil Chapman will be discussing major sectors and stocks that are coming off their lows in order to prepare your portfolio for 2024. This is a free webinar for all opening call subscribers. If you are not yet a subscriber, visit the front page of TFNN.com today to secure your spot for Wednesday, December 20th. TFNN, educating investors. Ho, ho, ho! It's December, Tigers. That means festivities, decorating, spending time with friends and family, and the TFNN Tiger Dollar Holiday Sale. Don't miss your chance to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. 
Once you apply your Tiger dollars to your account, you will be able to use them for any TFNN product purchase instead of your credit card. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to purchase your Tiger dollars. Don't miss your chance to receive up to a 40% bonus on your Tiger dollar purchase this holiday season. Every Tiger who purchases Tiger dollars will also receive a complimentary TFNN Tiger mug with their purchase. Act fast, this sale ends December 17th. Happy holiday, Tigers. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Tim with Tom O'Brien. We are talking gold now. Okay, Tim, go ahead. Hey, chart number seven. Yep. Quick look at that. Okay. It's the monthly XAU gold ratio. And I use this castics on this because it just works. Okay. This chart goes back to like 1984. So it, it shows all the signals going back to 1984. And the last signal we got was uh, August of 2022. And this signal is, is are, are really pretty good for the bigger time frame. And it's kind of gone up, kind of going sideways here. But mostly signals, when they get uh, the slow, in other words, uh, slow stochastics, gets below minus 10, which it did back in August 2022, and turns up, most of the time, those are multi-year rallies. So I'm thinking the, the August of last year was the bottom. I uh, see, yep. So so I'm thinking the market is actually in a bull trend right now since August 2022. So flip to chart eight real quick. Okay, I'm there. So now we're into a real small time frame. And I got a minute to, to talk about it, but you know, this head and shoulders bottom formed the top window of the GDX. Yes. And I thought the October low was probably the head. He had a right uh, shoulder. Uh, the neckline was around 30. We had a sign of strength through the neckline. And uh, the bottom window is the 18 day average up down volume. And the next window up is the uh, 18 day average advanced decline. And as long as both those two indicators remain above 10, uh, they are one is minus or one is plus sixteen, and the other is plus twenty. Then that probably thirty area on GDX will hold. And, so. and just to give you an idea, folks, okay, you know, at that sign of strength, we went up with forty-one million shares. And Tim, we were, we've only done fourteen million today as we're coming back into it. Forty-one million to right. fourteen. Pretty, pretty wild. Well, listen, man, you yeah. have a great weekend, a safe weekend. We look forward to speaking to you next Tuesday, Tim. All right, thank you. Okay, stay right, uh, stay right there. This is a fast hour, man.
Uh, have a great one. Have a safe one, folks.